Right, I'm back now. This is my mini core winder rig that I made. Okay, I've got a glass bottle slipped over a piece of wood that fits in the middle of an empty plastic soldering wire tube. You buy them at JK Electronics for just under four bucks, take the core solder wire out, drill a hole through it into the wood and shove it right in there. The core winding rig is quite simple really, you've got the PVC thing there, the brackets there. The core wire sits perfectly over it and you wind it onto the tube. I'm, I've got my soldering iron stand with the big lens sitting at the back of it so I can get a good view at the core that I am winding and you can see it there how it's coming out really nicely. So all I do is turn that bottle there clockwise and feed the wire into the coil at the same time. Now look at it through the lens so I can see close up how straight I'm getting it. So that's how it's done there. This is a homemade mini core winder for the SEC Exciter project. Okay, this is the second core I built this one here. I'm doing it through the mini core winder I put together. So I don't have to hand wind it, which is pretty difficult I'm trying to do it in here. So anyhow, this is much simpler to do it. It's easy set up. I've got a little rubber band put over there to keep the the PVC end parts in a little bit tight. The soldering wire, I mean um, the coil is fit for a little hole in the PVC disc. There's two discs stuck together at each end of the tube. Okay, so I feed a wire through the hole of one there that's coiled up inside the thing there. So I just had to wind it down there, feeding it through my finger while turning the bottle clockwise at the same time. And that's it. That's how it's all I've done so far. Okay, you can see it there how it's going. Okay, thank you for watching my latest video.